just like it's UP taking the pistol, and I assume they're going to be starting off on their CT side. I believe so. That is going to be the confirmed call. Now, the question is, what's going to happen on that CT side? What are they going to be buying into this first round? We know we've seen a couple players opt for utility in these starting rounds, but Graves, not going to go with that. He's going to be buying armor along with Nyx. One mat is going to follow suit. Kism are the only player to not buy armor thus far. It's going to be two flashes and a kit. Flixie yet to make his decision. Might actually just save, and I kind of like that move. That player is playing for the AWP later in the game. We're going to head underway. Lotto looking like it's going to be an A-Tank. Two players sitting towards that B-bomb site side of the map. The bomb on the back of Coat as he sits towards what looks to be a lineup for a jungle smoke. They might just opt to, you know, do a jungle stare smoke, try and take the fight towards CT, and I think that's what we're going to see. Relax. It's going to kind of confirm that with his first smoke coming out. No flashes being thrown just yet, but slow. And his teammate, Novin. Their objective was to go through one or pass, but Nyx, he's going to foil that plan fairly quickly as he picks up two. Not two, Matt picked up one as well. Actually, it's two versus two in the end now. One versus two. Nyx, he already has one on the round. Needs to get three in order to pick up the pistol for UP. Seems like both positions are very well known, but Relax is going to go ahead and make him relax as they pick up the pistol. One to nothing in the favor of Lotto. And that was kind of interesting to see. We saw those smokes come out, and we saw UP with the three versus two man advantage, but then one player falls and another player falls as he tries to stop that site from being taken by Lotto and just ends up leaving Nick solo by himself. Tease, it seems like they had no idea what they were going to do, so they're all just kind of waiting and spawn. This is going to give one hell of an advantage to the CTs. It's going to allow them to set up so much easier. And now, this is big because Kismer, with the CZ75 on Catwalk, is going to be able to hear Relax now jumping up with the MAC-10. Rather than if they were there on time, they wouldn't be able to hear that. So UP, they could potentially set up for this B bomb site hit here, and it looks like that's what they're going to be doing. Quick rotate would come in from Matt. A deep grenade. Not going to do much damage at all, but a whole lot of utility. Buys the CT's time to rotate over to that bomb site. Nyx pushing through Palace. Gets spotted out and taken down the MAC-10. Only gets 10 HP taken from him. And that's not what you want from that one SMG, the CT side. They now got to fend off this push with three Deagles and a CZ. Only player on the same bomb site is going to be Graves. We've seen him put into so many clutch situations last time he played, that being on train. What can he do this time? Matt starting it off with a frag for the CTs. Graves missing a couple of shots. Gives an opportunity to the T's to capitalize. The damage is dealt, but the frag isn't. It's three versus four as the CTs attempt what little of a retake they can possibly do. Flixie and Nyx. Not Flixie and Nyx. Flixie and Kismer headed in from CT, but it won't really matter as they won't pick up anything at all. Slow. He's low in connector, and Matt, he's playing for a corner angle. I guess you could really say he just wants to get one of these exits and take a little bit of money away from this team. Side, though, like, he's got different plans, and he's got another frag. It's a second round for Lotto as he picks up a four. 4K, that being. Fellas, I'm a little tired. You know, I had a really long stream today. I tried to entertain and play as best I could. I feel like I did suit. Now I'm exhausted come 9.15 p.m. But that's not an issue because this game will hopefully be a lot more exhilarating as we continue into the further rounds. Another save coming out from UP, but not the same situation for Lotto Gaming. Two players upgrading to the AK-47 and three MAC-10s. That's what the keys are going to be working with. Seems like it's going to be going okay. It's Kismer, the first to fall, actually. He's not going to fall just yet. Brax coming in. But Kismer looking the wrong way. He could have capitalized. In the end, he won't be able to. And that round could have been entirely different if Kismer decides to look towards Cat. If he gets that frag on Cat, they put it in their five versus three as they try to take out towards that B-bomb site. And I feel like that could have swayed the game a lot more. But Nick's now left in the one versus four with just the lone 5-7 into Wars Market. Seeing if he can pick up any exits of his own and like... Could be the first person to walk into it, but he hits the headshot first and capitalizes, giving them a third and keeping it squeaky clean. Three to nothing, Lotto up. Looks like we're going to be seeing attack pause come out from UP and now a buy, hopefully, as well. He's the lowest player. That's 4.2k, and that's with armor. We're going to be seeing one hefty buy coming out from UP here, as I assume they took attack pause to talk things over a little bit. Nick's getting himself an M4 along with four other or three other CTs. Matt, of course, buying his weapon of choice, that being the AWP. Only has the smoke. One player with head armor, that being Kismer. And that could come into factor here. We still have Slow and Nolvin on the MAC-10s. So, you never know. Economy kind of balances out for both... Or not economy. Utility kind of balances out for both sides until they buy it, which is seemingly coming soon. But in the meantime, 
We wait. And we wait. And we wait. Lotto picking up the first three off that nice pistol win. It was very close, but Nix, obviously, in the end, wasn't able to capitalize. Just a quick recap for you, the, the, for those of you that may have tuned in in the meantime. But now, this is going to be the first time Lotto run into an equal opposition. That being with rifles and a whole lot of utility to be fending off against. They had a lot of success towards that B-bomb site. The A1 ooh, was a little shaky. They got it any time they try to take it. Obviously, it is up 3 to nothing for the T-side. Some quick utility. It's going to do so much damage. Three players under 46 HP. And the CTs, they seem well aware and well prepared. Nix the first to fall as Slow picks up one with that MAC-10. And here's the MAC-10s. I told you, it could come into play as most of these players do not have head armor. So the utility being thrown left and right. But in the end, it's Slow left alone in the one versus three. He has one frag with that MAC-10. And with nine HP, I don't think he's going to be doing very much except for falling. And Flixie's going to confirm it. UP getting on the board with their first. Is they're down one to three on the CT side of Mirage. Little thing I like to do during my cast is a quick look at the frag chart. UP at the top is going to be tied with Graves and Nyx both at three kills and four deaths. Bottom is Kizmer going oh and three unfortunately. Top for Lotto Gaming is like six and two, and at the bottom it's Cop going one and two his way. It looks like he wants to change that. It's a force buy-up from this T side. A Galil, three AKs, an AWP on the back of Nold, and, and they've still got a little bit of money to be working with. So if this loss bonus comes in, you can see they will be getting 1.9K. Nolvin will be able to buy. Mike will be able to get a weak buy. Kismer, not overextending. But finally decides to take that final push and gets a free frag for it. No damage actually inflicted by that T. Though, thankfully for them, that is only the Galil falling. There's some utility being used towards this B-bomb site. Nyx keeping it absolutely squeaky clean, along with Flixie. It's a 2 versus 5. AK and AK versus the 4 M4s. Not 4, 3 M4s. And AK and the AWP, this T side. CT side. Common things I screw up. I'll work on it, I promise. But Lotto, they're going to have to work on attempting this 2 versus 5. His bait and Nyx, he sits towards under Belk. Aided by his teammate Graves, who I assume is holding Palace slow, going to hopefully take contact. Flash over middle to allow his teammate Matt to swing it, give themselves control of that part of the map. Slow, still playing it very slow as Graves, he might have himself a frag fairly shortly. Nick swinging out on ramp, picks up one and Graves, not even Graves, Matt ends it off. 11 HP being inflicted to the CT side off of a full buy from Lotto Gaming. It's going to get put them in the situation where they need to take Nico. They need some money. Relax. Con they can't buy. Slow might be able to drop a couple of P250s. Maybe a Tech 9. Maybe two. Nolvin kind of solidifying it with that Deagle buy. Everybody else chilling with their pistol. Slow with that extra money is able to buy armor. But four nades. So I think we all know it's about to come. A smoke towards top mid. The nades going into window. Matt's going to eat him and he's going to fall. The first frag is found by the T side, and some information given as well as Kismer spotted out on Catwalk that Manali from Graves gives away his position as well, and as well as it's against just pistols and Glocks. It's a four versus five, nonetheless. If these Deagles can hit the headshots, it could get really, really tight. We've seen UP choke on some of these Ecos. Graves, making sure that AWP does not fall into enemy hands as he gets it away from the window. The rest of them, they're going to be heading towards this A-bomb site. Two players to hold it. That's going to be the likes of Graves and Beta Nix towards CT and Jungle in their own ways. Kismer still on Catwalk. Flixie holding the apps push. Pretty balanced 4-on-5 if a 4-on-5 could be balanced. Smoke towards ramp. Good timing from Beta Nix. Slows down this push all that much more. As we enter the final 40 seconds of this round, which could potentially die and some damage being inflicted. Beta Nix with a spray transfer for two. Caught trades at three versus three. Pistols still in the T's hands. That Deagle could cause to be a pain, but thankfully Flixie shuts it down. Graves coming in from T, or from CT spawn. Solidifies the following fate that will be coming to like. It's a third round for UP as they tie it up in the sixth. And along with that, Kismer able to grab the AWP. 
No, Kismet Rock's actually able to grab an AK. Graves able to grab the AK as well. So where's the AWP? No, okay. Okay, it was a little confusing. The Kismer grabbed the AK in window, threw it to his teammate Flixie, who was defusing, and grabbed the AWP. Best case situation for the CT side is with three left alive. We're gonna be heading into the seventh, and one of these teams is gonna start coming away with the lead fairly shortly. And the economy of EP is built up, so if they're able to capitalize on the weak economy of Lotto right here, they can mount themselves with more than one round. As long as the Ecos don't get that close again, hopefully. Flexi with some early utility as it makes his way towards Connector. A Molotov from Slow. And two CTs. They want mid control. They're getting ready to push Kismer and Beta Nix. They had some success doing this previously. And Flexi, he's got a solo hold A. Kismer keeping mid control along with his teammate Matt. They've got a pretty good hold on this entire area. And that's a big choke point for the CT side to have control of. Now they know they're either going to streamline towards B or A. They've got a perfect setup in middle. They've got a nice setup in apps. Flixie doesn't really have to worry. Or not Flixie. Graves doesn't have to worry about his cat. He's just got to make sure they can't come apps. He's got a molly ready to go as soon as he spots any of that contact. But the real meat of the round is going to come on towards Flixie towards this A-bomb site. Going to drop towards Firebox as he requires assistance from his teammates. But that's smoke. That's just going to aid him so well. They're not going to check this. Caught. He's going to be planning triple. Wait, they are going to check it. But Betanix able to deny the bomb plant. Buys the time for the road case to come in. Flixie picking up one. Isn't able to convert on the second, but Slow is able to trade it. Three versus four in favor of the CT side. Betanix, though, has crept his way into the triple box. Swings out at the perfect time to pick up the frag on a Nolvin. That's a second for him. And it looks like Like is getting ready to trade it out. Trade two out, actually. It's two versus two. But Like now, with his position known in con, it seems like it's only time before he falls. Falls on 30 HP, just a little under it. Graves and Matt holding strong. It's a fourth for UP as they take the lead for the first time in the game. Heading into the eighth. Lotto going to be taking yet another save. This time though, a little more costly of that save. We have four deagles rather than just two. Attack nine. And four players with armor. One being head armor, that being light. And it looks like they're going to be trying to take middle. CTs with the absolute misread, though. They put nobody middle except for Kismer and Graves. They're going to try and sandwich this in, but CTs, they've got top mid control. And that could get scary soon as they have a snap or a sandwich coming in from like. And Nolvin hits the headshot. It's a man advantage for a lot of gaming on the ego. With mid control, Graves now needs to try and do something. He spots some things out towards Khan, but can't pick up any frags. It's cat control as well for this T side as Flixie gets isolated on this B bomb site. Graves, he's got to find something, and he can't relax. Makes it a three versus five. Matt finally trading one back. Only one a man advantage for Lotto Gaming. Not impossible for UP to bring this back. Three pistols and an M4. As well as it is deadly, especially at this level of play. It can be brought back into control. Flixie taking things into his own hands as he aggresses towards apps. Like, it seems like he's aware of what the possibility is. He's being very careful, though. If Flixie can pick up two, then this round gets entirely different. Make, let alone three. Nolvin, he's going to peek first on low HP. They're going to clear him, though. Oh, Flixie with one, two, caught, trades it out. But... It's a two versus two, man advantage even out. Two rifles against two rifles. Matt's AWP and Beta Nix's AK. What's stronger? But soon to find out, Cot has armor, and both of these players on 100 HP. It's a really good situation here for Lotto. They gotta play the ant or the post plant. Nix, he's gotta do something, open up something with this AK, and that's a good start. And with the last position given away, Matt. He's got it all to do. Hits the shot with the AWP. The Eco not going to fall the way of Lotto Gaming. UP, very, very close, but pick up the round nonetheless. And Matt, with a little bit of BM, shows his frustration, we'll say. UP up by two as we head into this ninth round of the half. I was, don't know why I was going to say seven. But Lotto, they've got another buy right now. UP, let's see what they can do. Can they shut it down? Well, things start to spiral out of control. Flixie going middle with his teammate. Matt, it looks like he wants to push, but an early molly kind of solidifies that. So it seems like Kant is going to be ready for this. Spotted out. No damage being inflicted, but the info is there nonetheless. 
Flexi with a quick flash towards under. Isn't going to catch anybody just yet, but Nolv and, and Relax. Look like they want to creep their way up, but they're going to have to run into the M4s of Flixy and Kismer. Kismer, that being in the off angle. Nolvin just going to walk straight into him. And I think he might expect another as well. Kismer with two. Makes it a three versus five. One hell of a man advantage for this T side, but Khan, he's going to trade it back. Little damage being inflicted. It's three versus three. And now it's got to be a lot more of a passive hold towards this A bomb site. Graves almost being caught out. Well, he's going to spot slow. Can only coming out towards Palace. Damage being done. Now these M4s turn into AKs with a higher DPS. But Graves, he's got it all to do as he's solo on this A-bomb site. Thankfully getting a quick rotation from Betanix as he creeps his way behind this smoke slow. I actually thought that was him running out of palace there. Betanix with a quick headshot on a cot. Five versus four. Slow spotted out as well. Wait a second. The AK headshot's connected to one versus two for Matt. Recovers an M4. Has a molly. And if he throws it in the right spot... He could potentially catch one of these players. And it's going to go straight towards Slow's position. He's on 17 HP. He can't afford to be taking all this damage. A quick nade puts him down to 55. A little bit of an even playing field. Slow spotted out. Hits the headshot. It's a fourth for Lotto. After being down 5-3, to three, they win the round two players alive. And that just seems like a misplay. Beta Nix over-aggressing behind that smoke. Be it, he did pick up one, but I don't know. The bomb was down. It's a three versus two. I feel like it's just time to relax and see what the T's do. And now, off the back of one good eco and a rifle win from Lotto, it's an eco for UP. Three deagles, two CZs, and Kismer with no head armor or armor at all. No Kevlar, no nothing. No head armor for any of these CT players. And only a flash and a nade for utility. Beta Nix almost catches the timing in Palace, but slow. He's able to stop that from happening, like with a quick one tap towards CT. It's three versus five. Lotto Molly's out. Matt, he's got to hit something, but he can't. It's just the C's ads left alone. And it looks like Lotto are going to be tying this up in the defense. Flixie able to pick up one and grab himself an AK. The bomb actually was still down in T spawn, so. CTs with a little time to position themselves, but Flixie, he's not going to be expecting Nolvin to be creeping in from jungle. It's left to Kismer, but just as he's at, and Slow is going to finish that off. It's a tie game. And UP, last time we were in this situation of a tie game, it looked like they were going to be better to come out with the lead, but I can't say the same for this time. It will be a buy. Beta Nix buying Kevlar, quick from us. Kismer doing that as well. There's no head armors. There's no, absolutely no head armor for this T side, or for the CT side. But that doesn't really matter against the AKs of the T side. Utility favoring, you, or Lotto. I am just messing up left and right, man. I'm too tired for this. It's going to be a five-man hit towards this A-bomb site. The solo man to hold. It's going to be beta next for this classic aggressive positioning and ramp. Thankfully, Graves rotating back. I was going to say, it could get a little scary there. Slow soon going to face what looks to be his demise if he over-aggresses, but... Oh! Fade and Nix gets flashed off, looks away at the wrong time, and now it's Matt and Graves to try and work some magic towards this A-bomb site. The rotate's coming in as Fade and Nix has a lot of that information, but they're backing off. I don't know if I agree with this. Matt, thankfully, pulling back towards this A-bomb site. He's... Gonna need help as a teammate Graves. Smoke's coming out. And now, the really passive positioning is going to come back to haunt Graves, who can kind of chill in this smoke. Relax, his molly won't be able to connect, but Graves has to find something. He's so desperately trying. The bomb gonna go down. He had 9 HP. Graves, he's still sitting towards Underbalk, though. He's gotta do something massive. But I don't think he's gonna be able to do so. They have no smoke, no flashes, and no... Help left, apparently, as Slow hits two headshots, or just one headshot, a couple of body shots. Lead going back in the way of Lotto for the first time since the third round, or not the third round, the fourth round, fifth round, was the fifth round, I'm stupid, sorry. Mathematics is not with me right now. Once again, it's UP set packing as they're sent to an eco. Two P250s, a 5.7, a CZ75, and Graves with the lone USP.
Quick start coming out from slow as he picks up a headshot and a body shot on the Knicks and Kismer. And already it looks like it's going to be a seventh round for Lotto. Like once again, tapping away at Graves and CT spawn. It's two versus five. P250 is the only thing left between, well, it looks to be Lotto gaming in a seventh round. Oh, that nade connecting perfectly onto Flixie caught. He's going to hear Matt as he breaks the fence. One versus five for Flixie. And hell, he'll be lucky to even do a lick of damage like taking him down through the box. It's a clean seventh from Lotto as we take another look at the frag chart. Top for UP is going to be Nick's 11 and 11. Bottom is Kismer 4 and 9. Top for Lotto is going to be Like going 14 and 6. And at the bottom is Relax 5 and 8. Another buy coming out from UP. Let's see if they can finally turn the tide back in their favor. Looks like they're going to be going fast towards A and Molly that they're going to run straight through. A couple of grenades as well. We've seen this situation before, but they weren't able to convert last time. Graves with aggressive positioning through the smoke. Picks up one along with Beta Nix. It's three versus five. Novin putting one back in the T's hands. It's four versus three. And with Graves super low, this round is not over yet. Two players coming in towards CT as the CTs prepare for an onslaught towards the save bomb site. Slow with a grenade takes down Graves. And Nolvin with a headshot on the Flixie. It's two versus three. Kismer's got to find something. He's got to pull something back in their favor. It's two versus two. And the bomb creeping its way back out of ramp. It's an AWP and an AK versus a an AWP and an M4. And Nolvin, he wants to do better against his counterpart, Matt. Who almost gets caught off guard. And I think that's going to be the rotation from the bomb on the back of slow. No, C or no CTs are going to be there to hold against it. Or what's happening here? Is this a fake? I'm so confused. Nolvin's backing out of Palace. Slow's coming back towards Palace as well. Gizmer, if he plays his cards right, he can have a quick mow down of two players. Nolvin, he's going to lead the charge with the AWP. Kismer, all he's got to do is hide triple. Matt, he's made his way under pass. He's can, he can confirm that it's going towards A, but Kismer, question for him is when and where? Quick drop being made. Nolvin falls. It's one versus two. Slow, though. He has been on point and absolutely stellar this game. Showing it off right there. But Matt coming in from Khan, trying to take a shot through the box. Isn't going to be able to find it, but finds that one instead. UP win the round with one man left alive. Matt, that being with the AWP, recovers a kit in the smoke. And recovers a sixth for UP. Well, the T buy is definitely a lot stronger than UP's buy, as they buy pretty much everything, and their economy is still almost intact. UP, they're going to be fighting this one out tooth and nail till the very end. Up against an AWP and 48Ks, Flixie's down to the MP9, and Graves is on a FAMAS, even though I have stressed on my channel that FAMAS meta could be the move. UP, they need to tie it up. Lotto, they want to win the half right here. One of those two will be decided this round. As we slowly see Lotto making their way towards A, relax. I thought he was going to recover the bomb and spawn, but apparently he's just going to leave it. Three men towards this A bomb site side of the map. Beta Nick's getting ready to smoke towards Palace. And now it's going to be four, and soon to make that five is Nolvin cre creeping his way over now. A quick flash from Madden towards middle. Once again, CTs, they're preparing for an onslaught. Three men to hold off this A bomb swing from falling, that being the likes of Beta Nix, Flixie. I'm not Beta Nix, Flixie. Beta Nix, Matt, and Graves. Default hold, one player holding ramp. Beta Nix has made his way onto the scaffold and could catch slow off guard if he's not ready for this. Oh, but one player's going to hit that shot, but first it's going to be Beta Nix now making his way down the ladder as the onslaught comes out like trades Beta Nix out. It's four versus four as the bomb site. Slowly being taken by this T side. Graves jumping on to ticket box or ticket booth. There's 19 seconds and the bomb is getting mollied off. Like is low on HP and if he falls, 
It could get deadly, just like that. It's two versus two. Ten seconds, they gotta get the bomb down. It's one versus two for Kismer. As he spots out, like, towards the back of the boxes. He doesn't have time to deny the bomb from going down. It's one versus two, and he can't do it. Nolvin shuts it down into one half, no matter what, from Lotto. After a very close round, Graves doing whatever he could to deny that bomb plant. Picked up the first kill towards default. Then his teammate in CT shut him down with the MP9 as he tried to get the replant. But they just couldn't hold off. And one second was the difference between UP and a 7th. And now they're stuck to what? A FAMAS, two MP9s, a Deagle, and a CZ? This is not what you want on your last CT round of Mirage. I better have something killer playing for T-Side or it's going to get scary really quick. Graves playing so aggressive and ramp with this MP9 as he sits towards the close corner. Betanix with a little bit of an aggressive position to, for himself. Matt already has his head off, taken off and towards underpass. Or at least I can only assume it was underpass. Because we're trying to do something with that CZ. But in the end, he's going to be taken down so low. Flixie finally trading one out with his CZ side. But it's too little too late as it's five versus, or not five, four versus two. Betanix, he's got to work some magic with the FAMAS. And that's a good start. If Nolvin falls, that's the bomb being taken down. And that's absolutely massive. Betanix, he's got to do more, though. It's two versus two. The AK and hand takes down slow. One versus two. And the CTs have pulled this back from the depths of hell. Relax on 21 HP. And it looks like UP may have just made the miraculous come back into this round. Relax. He's got to find some way to break this crossfire up. But he's not going to be able to do it. Flixie with a 2k, Betanix with a 3, and UP win the 7th as they're down by 1. I will see you guys in the second half. Alright, we're going to be getting into the second half a little faster than I expected, but then again, I'm not really used to higher level play. Usually I'm stop casting open in AM games where it takes forever for them to start the second half. It doesn't take forever for UP to rush out towards this B-bomb, saying it doesn't take forever to like to hit two headshots. It's a three versus five. Make that a two versus five. Like with three kills. All of the kills being for the CT side. And he's looking for a fourth. He's going to find it. And Nolvin's going to find the fifth. It's a quick pistol round for Lotto as they pick up both pistols in this game. And they look to add to it. No bomb plant from UP means they will have to take a save. But to my dismay, Flixie's going to force up. Couple of Ds. Kismer on the patent pending. CZ 75. Four players with head armor, one without it. That's Flixie, the man who started the force buy. Let's see what they can do with these deagles. I, it always comes into my mind. With this low of weaponry and utility, are you really expecting to win the round, or are you just trying to do some economic damage? But it looks like UP are thinking of something I'm not, because they're going for it here. Kismer, he's made his way up underpass. Nolvin making a hell of a lot of noise, and he could fall soon. If Kismer plays his cards right, but the whiff. Flixie, actually, I missed that, but he had a quick one deeg. It's four versus five in the favor of UP. And make that three versus five. Beta Nick's picking up one. Keeps the man advantage in UP's favor, but a couple players riding on very low HP. And Like's going to clean up one of the full HP players. Matt, though, <gasps> he's trapped his way into window. Nolvin sitting on stairs. Is he going to be expectant of this? He's not! Matt picks up yet another one, Deegan. It's four versus three, or three versus two. Now two versus two is Relax. Trying to even things out and towards CT spawn. Picks up one with the FAMAS, that being his second of the round. Matt and Kismer against the world. A bomb, a bomb plant. Well, is soon going to come in, Matt. Hiding towards connector. This round is nowhere near over, fellas. Especially with that frag. It's one versus two. And like, he's got everything and more to do. Matt, sitting in the corner, hits the one D. Picks up the eco for UP. And to my dismay, apparently they did think they could win. As they are going to pick up the eco on the second round of their T side. And what a play from these players at UP. Nick starting it off with an incredible one knee along with Flixie. Matt getting two. And just like that, UP find themselves with an eighth and find themselves in a really good situation to try and tie this up once again. Nolvin, he wants to find something in middle, but he's going to be tagged down to 74, making that scout a one-hit shot to kill. Nolvin with a smoke to try and fake out his presence moving back towards jungle. 
But Gizmer, he's fast to try and do something towards underpass as he explodes up. Nolvin 100% hears it. Nade going deep on Cat isn't going to catch anybody. Matt being tagged with the Deagle. Like picking up a headshot on Graves. It's four versus five. Lotto, are they going to answer back with an eco of their own? No frags being found just yet. Nolvin trapped in the corner, but Slow is here to help him out. It's three against five. And it looks like deja vu, but in the other way, Nolvin still sat in mid-window, finally treaded out by Flixie. It's three versus four. Weaponry in the favor of this T-side, but not the man advantage. And that could be a pain in the ass to deal with, as taking towards the bomb site is going to be so difficult. Nix, he wants to find this frag on a cotton. He wants it now. He knows that there's only one here, and he's going to capitalize. But slow on the trade. Puts it in the two versus three. The man advantage still in the favor of this CT side, as it's been maintained maintained through almost the whole round. Kismer, he's the star player in this situation. If he falls, it could very well mean the round for UP. Relax. Tagged with the scalp of Tix Flixie down to 17. But when do they consider the possibility of the Absalon? Because it's coming in from like, and it's coming in with the M4. Kismer, he spotted out. Now both of these T's positions are given away. They need to find something, and they need to find it now. It's one versus two for Flixie, and he can't do it. It's a tenth for Lotto as they answer back with another eco. Thankfully, UP with the bomb plant will give them a buy into the next round. Actually, will it? It won't. They're going to have to take a save. And from eco to eco, we're going to be seeing yet another eco. As Lotto are up by two. Full Glock eco. From the CT side as they push out towards top middle. It's going to be held off by Nolvin in window. And he really likes this right side. Will he be able to pick up much from it? Good start from him. Picks up two. Make it three. It's two versus four. Make that two versus three. And now one versus three. As it's left to Matt. He's got himself an M4. He's got himself the bomb. But uh, not a whole lot of bullets in like. He's going to capitalize on the situation of Matt reloading. It's an 11th. For Lotto is they are up by three. We've seen them up by three, though. And we've seen UP come back from it. We've seen UP tie it multiple times. Can they do it again? Some of these players for UP not doing so hot. God on the CT side isn't doing so hot either, though. Looks like UP want to take towards this B bomb site, and luckily for them, the only player there is Like, and he's aggressive on catwalk. If they can find this frag, and it's an open B bomb site, Beta Nick's creeping his way up the window. They spot out Like, and they take him down so very low. A Molotov coming towards his position pushes him out, forces him to peek towards Kismer, and it's an early five v four. And Beta Nick's actually doesn't spot out the player on Cat, and Cat, he could find himself an opening if he's. Careful enough. Flixie, not gonna fall. The width from Cot is costly enough to give a frag to the T side. Flixie, though, his efforts aren't very, or don't go very far as he's instantly traded out by Nolvin, who grabs the AWP, and it looks like the CTs are already gonna opt for that save. Uh, SV is spiking pretty damn bad. So I wonder if that's the server or if that's me. Oh my. Terrorists win. Now fellas, I know sometimes you hate seeing the neck graph on. And you know, sometimes I forget to turn the neck graph off. But just know that, that lag was on the server, not me. This is accompanied for my settings. Oh. oh, Matt starting it off strong with a headshot on the slow. Early five versus four. Nolvin, though, still very much so alive with the AWP. Dinked twice, but doesn't matter. The wall protects him and potentially saved his life there as he was able to convert with a frag of his own. 
It's four versus four. One of these players, very, very low, obviously, that being Nolvin. Relax, sitting on towards top ticket with the AUG. It's all going to be up to if one of these T's can hit the headshot. Matt catches himself a lucky break, but might be a little unlucky here in a second. Oh, did he spot out like on default? Box, he did. And he's going to be able to pick up the frag. As it's an open A bomb site. Relax couldn't do much. And it's left to Cot and Nolvin, who I assume are just going to consider saving yet again. Kismer, the deep grenade. Nolvin going to escape in time, though. It's a tenth for UP. But... I blame you. Yeah, okay. But Lotto's still up by one. Game not over yet, fellas. UP, their T side has been pretty damn good thus far. With the exception of one hard to forget about eco loss. But they did win one. So I'll let it slide. Though it could be 11 to 10 in the favor of UP right now. Keep that noted. And it could probably be better. Like 12 to 8. But since they lost that eco. They had to take another eco, and they lost. UP confirmed with a 10. Betanix, your favorite on this team? You're damn right he is. In fact, another look at the frag chart while we're in the timeout. Top, once again, for Lotto Gaming is still like... This time, 26 and 12 at the bottom. Weighing him down is going to be caught 8 and 13. But at the top for UP is Beta Nix, 18 and 18. And at the bottom is Graves, 8 and 16. Not so hot of a performance from him thus far. But there's still plenty of time for him to pick it up as we enter the 22nd round. We played by SCA rules. This would be a best of 12. Or this would be a max rounds 12 for no reason. I think Max Rounds 12 was so stupid. It's obviously because of Valorant. A lot of flashes towards this B-bomb site. T is going to quickly take it. Two players to hold. The rotation's coming in quickly. Caught one of the guns that was saved. Already falling. Slow. He's going to fall as well. No frags for the CT side. The Deagle trying to do something. So far unsuccessful in doing so. Relax. He's able to convert one, but not much more. It's four versus two, and off already running for the hills as he's on the A bomb site, holding that cap push. Nate going deep in the market. Tags relaxed down to 48. What's gonna happen with this AWP though? He's gonna miss one shot and give away his position. Nolvin, very well known on this A bomb site, and on the hunt is gonna be Graves. He's nice, but he's knife out running towards ramp. He wants this op down. And he might be able to find it here. Nolvin looking the wrong way, but Graves pulls out his knife. And what could have been a free kill. Flixie, he's not done with the search just yet. Though, misses a couple of shots. Nolvin, thankfully, falls in the alt recovered. Ties it up. It's 11 to 11. Lotto, are they going to buy? They might. And they will. AUG, two M4s, three M4s actually, and an M4A1S is going to cap off the buy for Lotto. This one team will be coming away with the lead right now and could potentially be running away with it if that's UP picking it up. Their economy, phenomenal. Lotto, four players on zero with relax on 100 is not what you want right now. Nolvin sitting in his classic position towards the right side of the window. I wonder if UP will clear it out this time. He has played there like three or four times, and I'm pretty sure he's gotten a frag every one. Flash into Khan. CTs. What are they going to do to capitalize? Nolvin. He's trapped in a molly, but he's still able to convert one before Kismer's molly finishes him off. 4v4, and Relax is going to get aggressive towards ramp. So that information given away, though Graves picks up one frag. And I ain't not going to be expecting Relax to be pushed in ramp. It's a 3v3 information in the CT's hands. Or is it in the CT's hands? It could be in the T's hands. It's Flixie. He's in a window. I'm not sure if they're aware of it. Like, though. He's the man to watch. As he could potentially find Matt, though, safely backs off on Catwalk. I don't think he's done with it just yet, though. It's a 3v3. And if Matt overextends, oh, that could be absolutely catastrophic for UP. 40 seconds left, and I actually couldn't tell you where they're going. They have one in middle. Oh, never mind. They are going to be coming B. Flixie, he's on a quick flank. Caught. If he falls... It's pretty much round over. Matt picking up the frag on a light. And Flixie capitalizes on the cot. It's one versus three. Relax. 
Might just stop to save his AK-47. That's exactly what he's going to do is we have UP taking the lead into the 23rd round. Into the 24th round. Don't call me on that. I'm terrible at math. Damn, I see a lot of spikes in OBS. And I'm going to have to tweak that when I do highlights. Fellas, we might have an issue, and I think I forgot to start recording. I really hope VODs are on. I really hope VODs are on, or this game will not be going on UP's channel. Look. Relax. Picks up one of the kills. I may be an idiot. I may be an idiot. In fact, you know what? Since we're on a timeout right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just check something really quick on a different uh, on a different browser. <laughs> Oopsies. Oopsies. Fucked up. Kind of fucked up. Ha! Ah, vods are on. We're saved, fellas. Fucking moron. I mean, you're lucky. I'm the one that turned VODs on in the first place. You almost lost your job. Uh. Oh my god, there's so much SV spikes. I need to fart. Thanks for sharing. Well, it looks like Lotto have the complete misread on the T side as it's five towards A and they're pretty much five in middle. UP gonna soon find out that they are not gonna have too much of a hard time taking this A bomb site as the only player anywhere near the vicinity is relaxed. As soon as this exec comes in, he might just opt to save his AK though. Some nades doing a good bit of damage on a Flixie. Betanix actually falls and. Could this be another eco potentially going the way of Lotto Gaming? Tease. They gotta find these frags, or at least the trade frags. Nolvin's still alive on stairs. Flixie seems to be holding it. Oh, nope. Never mind of that. They're all playing pretty passive, as they're on a different side of the site. Trade's coming in, and actually in the end, I missed so much, but UP coming out with the one-man man advantage to tap from Khan. He's going to bait out one, but Matt, he's going to end it fairly quickly. A 3k coming out from him and a 13th for UP. I might just want to leave Auto Director on, dude. I'm not even... This looks terrible for me. UP three rounds away from closing this map, and if they pick this one up, they could be all of them more closer as Lotto will have to take another eco after a loss. UP, they've got all the cards in their hands. They've got all the pieces on the chessboard. Now can they take down the king? Graves passive towards ramp as he sits behind his smoke, waiting for it to fade. Relax, though, is going to be on the other side, waiting for him in open arms. Beta next with a molly towards Van. Caught with a nice little spot that I like to commonly play. And he's been whiffing this entire game, and it's been so very costly for him. And his team. I mean, like... I know we're mid-round, but, like, look at like He's 26 and 15. Nolvin's 20 and 15. And Cod's at the bottom with 10 kills. Relax with a molly to slow down this push towards ramp. Slow, he's found out. And Flixie's gonna take his head clean off. He might spot out a player towards ramp as well. Relax, takes down one, but instantly traded out by Graves. It's four versus three. CT's at a disadvantage. And Kismer picks up a whiffing Nolvin. And it looks like... We might be seeing a 14th unless Like wants to work some magic of his own towards CT. He won't be able to and neither will Cot. The SV is just spiking like a bitch right now. But UP, they're doing the same. It's a 14th for them. They need two to win. And Lotto, they've got to give up a tie. Unless they want to do a Hail Mary play here. Send for it. See if they can pull away with the round. 
Don't think that's going to happen, though. We're going to see a Deco and a 5-7 on the back of Like, who has just been stellar this game, might I add. Lotto Gaming have found a definite talent in Like. Uh-oh. Two players in middle. One found. It's four versus five. And this not looking so hot. Kismer, he's got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it. It's an early three versus five. No frags for the seats or for this T side. Thankfully, Badenix answers back and reloads at the worst time. It's two versus four. The bomb down in the CT's hands and AK's galore if they want them. Graves and Matt against the world. The AWP and the AK Graves picks up two. And he's got to find more. He can't. Cobb with the 1D. Keeps Lotto in the game. SV, can you stop spiking? Look at this, fellas. Look at this. This ain't me. UP, though, like I said earlier, have a great amount of economy built up. So they can easily buy, and they could buy an extra on two if they lose this. Uh, they could probably buy for the rest of the game, but it's going to be a quick B take from this T side. Trying to change up the pace of Molly towards Van. And Bane Nick's going to get the entry on the cot. It's five versus four. Like, sat towards Empty Pillar. Will they clear him, though? Betanix coming behind. Isn't going to check it. It's 4v4. Those position given away. And Slow is going to fall. It's 2 versus 4. 2 versus 3 is like trades one back. Still being a pain in the ass towards Empty Pillar. Flixie, though, going to end that run. It's going to look to be a 15th for UP. Nolvin picking up with the AWP. He can't let this round go in the T's hands. And he knows it. The Molly towards Bench. That's going to isolate Graves. And he's going to have to fall. It's 1 versus 1. And Nolvin, he can do this. Graves. Dancing around the top of the van. Is he going to hit that shot? He is. Graves finding a 15th for UP. Looking all over and barely is able to capitalize. Up by three. Lotto with a really bad buy here. Cot can afford the AWP if they want to throw it to Nolvin. But like with a 30 bomb and they're still down by three. Cot will end up buying the AWP for Nolvin. But it's a FAMAS buy other than that. Hey, look at that. FAMAS meta. Betanix. Why did you spoil? Kismer and Flixie with a couple of quick frags towards eight. Flixie traded out by Likes Famas. Puts it in the four versus three. As the T's have all the advantages they could possibly want. Nyx picks up the frag on a slow. It's two versus four. Lotto got a fight for the game right now with Nolvin's AWP and likes Famas. Kismer, though, jumping up on triple, or not triple ticket, has something else to say. It's one versus four for the man himself, and he can't do it. UP finding their first win of the season up 16 to 12.